If you want to get your company to the top of Google searches, then trust Hot Click Marketing. I trust them, and they're sponsoring me for the entire season. This is the away end at Turf Moor, and of course, you don't need me to tell you that it's a Tuesday night in December in Lancashire, where it's bitterly cold. You can probably see the steam on my breath. It's going that way. But anyway, it is cold here tonight. It's a tester for everybody, really, isn't it? I'm really looking forward to this one. I love being wherever City are, talking to the fans and finding out what the mood is. Tonight is no exception. Last season, City won here by a goal to nil. It was the narrowest of margins. It was a, a must-win game, and they did. It's not exactly must-win tonight, but it certainly feels as if it's a, a very important game here at Turf Moor. Let's see how the fans are feeling ahead of this one. Oh, I love it because uh, we only live in Little Bruce, so it's only a little John's over at uh, Hill. So, yeah, we, we're good, we're good, we're all right with Burnley, it's good. After no the, problem. the draw at Newcastle, um, is there a different mood going into this one? I think it's a must win now, and it? it's, it's now till end of end of Christmas period, and, and let's see where we are. Are we, fair, are we second favourites? Of course we are. But let, let's see, game by game. For some City fans have been a little bit more gloomy now after that draw. No. Are you a more optimistic? Of course uh, I am, yeah. I mean, it's never over till it's over, is it? You know, a couple of games, they've got, you know, they've got a, picked a big injury up this week, Liverpool, so you just never know. Catch Leicester first and see where we go next. We need to win, don't we? At this point in the other night, at this point in the midweek against Shakhtar, all these greats against Chelsea, we need to win. That's it. If we're going to we're challenge, we're not even above Leicester. We need to challenge. Tell us about your day today. Have you had to take time off work? No, no, I've been in work. But um, I left work about four. Kick came up there. Been a coach from Bredbury. It's all right, yeah. How much does it mean to you to be here? A lot. Love City. Always love City. So do you go to a lot of games? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, did. I go to a lot of games, yeah. But, um, yeah, it's buzzing. Love being at City all the time. I can't put it into words. City's everything to me. Like, you go to your first game when you're younger and it's in your blood then. No matter what the results are, how many games, how many games you go to, it all means the same. If we're 11 points off, we're 11 points ahead. Always going to support them. Right? We get the coaches from Bredbury out every, like, every single time we come to an away game. Uh, come with all, down with all the lads, all, all the beer, all the food, all the drinking, all the singing. It's everything, it's like a family. If you have the chance tonight, would you go in club? Probably not, because it's not the same. Like I do, I do enjoy. I, the corporate's always good because obviously you experience something different. But when you're with your family, your friends, it's different. It's like it's like asking if you'd go for a Christmas dinner in a mansion rather than have it with your family at home. You'd rather have it at home with your family. It's different. Like if you've got everyone around you that you care about and you're all celebrating the same thing, it's, that's the main thing. I guess it's important to be with fans singing. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like. You, with how much you care for this club with the singing the chanting that's how you express it to them it's how you can show how much you how much they mean to us we go for years and then we see all the greats come down like and all the great players that have played for us and the only way only way we can appreciate them is one buying the tickets is two is getting behind them singing as many songs as we can I'm in the corporate tonight so give them oh, a yeah. song for me oh absolutely yeah of course no problem. It's, uh, I expect a good atmosphere though tonight. Like uh, Burnley's all, always a good away game, nice local one for the City fans. So uh, it's going to be a good, 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 good game tonight. Like we just usually do alright at Burnley, but with the injuries and the way we're playing at the moment, we can't take anything for granted. But always confident, always confident with City. So we'll see how we get on. Today, um, well, Burnley have been playing well, but they lost two 0 at home to Palace over the weekend. I think it was. So really, we should be capable of winning this. We've not had any big wins here for a long time. I mean, obviously, we can all remember a 6-0 and a 6-1 in the past. Um, but uh, we've not had a big win here for a long time. And uh, I think it's overdue. I think, we need to, I think we need to send the message out to uh, you-know-who for Saturday. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get the three points and see how it goes. Well, I feel happy. I'm just coming from Sierra Leone to watch City again. I hope to the City will give me good results. We'll win. Alex Williams giving you a bit of a... <laughs> That's even better when he does that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good man. So as a Burnley fan, what's yeah. your thoughts on tonight's game? I think we stand a really good chance of winning. I know we played badly on, uh, on Saturday uh, and we know we can play a lot better. 
and I think City are going to be a bit jittery at the back as well after they came, you know, they let one in towards the end of the game, didn't they, and uh, finished up two all. So I fancy that both teams will be up for it tonight to try and make amends, but I think Burnley stand a very good chance of uh, getting the three points. We'll see, eh? North Manchester Clarets, that's where I'm from, you know, so I've got City neighbours left, right and across the road, so I need to put my flag up tomorrow. Uh, well, this is a throwback with no disrespect to Burnley to one of the older stadiums, so it's great to come back and visit so the sort of stadiums I used to play in. <laughs> is that how you look at it then? Did well, that's how I it? look. Uh, yeah, I would have done it at some stage here, here in Blackburn, but I better not mention Blackburn because they hate each other. But uh, <laughs> no, it's great to be back. I am in one of the corporate rooms tonight, so uh, I might get a, a meat pie or something later on. And who's going to win? Um, I think it'll be a tight game, but I do fancy City, yeah, hopefully. Well, that's the view of the supporters outside the stadium going into the away end. But today, I'm going to show you the other side of being a football fan. You've probably seen it before, but I'm in the corporate. I've been invited in by a fan into the corporate section of the, the Burnley Football Club, where they're just serving the food now. So you get a different perspective in here than you do outside. So is the view in here any different than it is from the fans who are going in the away end? We do it as a business every match, uh, we share it around the team. Uh, why we do it, it's a good chance to connect with our customers uh, away from day-to-day -day business. There is a perception from some fans who go on the terraces that the people in areas like this don't watch the game, don't know the game. Is that true with you? Uh, not true with me. I mean, I'm a Newcastle United fan, so that probably means I don't really understand the game at all. But uh, in general, no, we watch the game. Um, and I think also the kind of club that Burnley is, very much a community club, so you'll find a lot of people in hospitality at Burnley are genuine, you know, they're local people who, uh, who, who just want to make the most of their day. What are you expecting today? Uh, I'm expecting Newcastle United to go further down the league and uh, Man City to win. Anyone that you want, show it round, but please don't let me see what it is. Okay, I will turn away from this. Right, got that. And sorry, I should have said they are all different as well, just in case. Okay. And then just pop the pop on that thing. Shall we find the Ace of Clubs the easy way? I was going to find it the hard way. What do you imagine? It weren't the Ace of Clubs. Oh, that's a problem. Are you a good liar, like me? Why are you here tonight? Honestly, um, my customer's cancelled, so I'm coming and replacing them. Although ultimately, I do organise all the football games on who comes to which games, etc. So. Are you a football fan? Um, <laughs> sometimes like watching it. I'm more made to watch it, so <laughs> not that, not that much, no. This is a purely a work thing, isn't it? Yeah. I come in born Burnley Corporate. Well, one of my dad's suppliers um, has got a box here, so um, he's invited us along to the game today. Um, but obviously, I'm going to be following the Blues. Sorry. What's it like uh, being in here? It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's very nice. We've not had our meal yet, um, but I was here last season too. Got a nice meal before the game. Um, and to be honest, come re to be honest, really come to watch City. That's the main reason I'm here. I'm not bothered about the corporate, more about the game. Number seven, Raheem Sterling. Number nine, Gabriel Jesus. Number twelve, Angelino. Number six. City looking a lot more like their old selves again with his performance in the first half. Great goal by Gabriel Jesus, right into the top corner. A little bit of a worry when Kevin De Bruyne picked up a knock, but gladly he came back on again fairly quickly. And I think City controlled that first half. They had much the better of the possession, lost more players in attack. Burnley, very sporadic, just occasional breaks up front. So very satisfactory first half of the Blues. 1-0 at the break, second half to come. Absolutely great performance tonight. Gives you a lot of confidence for Saturday as well for the derby. Absolutely brilliant performance. We've just got to keep picking up the points now. Keep winning the games, we'll win the league no problem. Anybody stand out for you? They all stood out, tell you the truth. All the players in it, even in the subs we all stood out. But Gabri Gabri yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Gabriel Jesus, his confidence is boosted now, and he's, he's such a great player, such a great talent. His work rate is 150%. Not only scores goals, but the way he battles for the ball, and, you know, on play, off, off play, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Nice to come here, because I really expected a tough game. I was surprised how well we did play, knocking the ball about. Really good, really good. It was different tonight, then. I don't know really, what I mean, it was just, I thought everyone seemed a bit more on form, uh, everybody had a better game than they've, they've had for a few weeks, and I just think they were, they were, they were, ironically on a cold Tuesday night in Burnley, we sort of turned it on, which 
uh, you won't expect, but yeah, very good. Really pleased with it. Swing on United now, eh? Yeah, well, look forward to Saturday, eh? Yeah. Uh, I thought we played well. Uh, much better. Roger made a massive difference in the middle. Um, and overall, just a bit sharp. We pressed the ball a bit faster. And um, I think Jesus, back in form, I think he needed that bit of loan confidence. So overall, can't complain with that 4 1. Can't complain. Yeah, easy, that trick, easily, that actually, couldn't Easily, but I think he needed a goal, to be honest, just to uh, get himself back in form. So cheese it! Cheese it! Cheese it! Cheese it! Cheese it! So you've come from Philadelphia. We have come from Philadelphia. Touchdown! Touchdown, Eagles. I no, said, no, you scored I a goal City. in this game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, City like in Philadelphia? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm the head of the, the Philly Sports sure. Club. Have you got out a, there. They've got a so. good following. We've got, uh, it depends on the away games. I mean, right? uh, on, the, on the opposition, if it's like a busy, uh, if it's a Liverpool game, we get about 60 in. If it's a Bournemouth do, game, do, we get about follow, 3. Do you, do you follow New York City? Uh, no. Is that like cities like... I, I don't know. America. the way you're taking over the internet. No, I like this. I don't know, you know. No, in America, no, no, it's New York City are Man City's team, aren't they? So, so you really should support New York City, really. So, yeah. No, I should, but, I, but because Philly is Philly, I support the union, so... Yeah. And they're awful. And stopping so, for the derby. That's okay. Pardon? He's stopping for the derby. Sadly, no. No, I really wish I was, but no, I've got, I'm on a plane. Absolutely brilliant performance tonight. They defended so well. They attacked well. Roger was amazing. It was just a fantastic performance by the boys. I'm really happy tonight. They put you in a good mood for the derby. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I think we'll definitely beat them on Saturday. It's going to be difficult, but they're not that good, are they, Ian? So, you know me, the Jacks are always here. And can I just say something? I'm actually on the um, European stickers, the Istanbul oh, stickers. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen them? Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. I nearly got Bernardo's shirt, but he gave it to the little boy next to it, which is fair enough, fair play to the guy, you know what I mean? Children come before me. But I've had a great away day, Ian. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was uh, fantastic. Uh, back, back to uh, playing some amazing stuff. Um, Burnley weren't at their best but I think we showed again today why we're champions we've got to keep putting in performances like this um, I know Newcastle rocked us a bit but I think it's the mentalities in Man City Pep's instilled that inside and we've got to keep going to the end of the season and we've just got to pray for the result to go our way tomorrow uh, Liverpool have got Everton but overall very very happy with the performance I thought Rodri was fantastic he was quick to every second ball he dominated that midfield and you know something he reminds me of Sergio Busquets a bit he's going to come on to be a really really good player I think when Fernandinho eventually does leave I think he's going to be the natural replacement and he did well deserved the goal he was my man of the match by far we just got to kick on from here now um, we've, we've got to keep winning it's as simple as that um, and hope Liverpool slip up somewhere but overall very happy and I felt comfortable today again I felt like I've got Man City back in terms of compared to Newcastle um, the whole way through never there was never in doubt so you've had a good day on and off the pitch very good day on and off the pitch but I think the result was the most important <laughs> but really really good day <laughs> Um, today I thought we played a lot better than Saturday. I was at Newcastle on Saturday and we were too slow, very lethargic. Started this game in a lot more positive way and we deserved what we got at the end of the day. So you're obviously a home and away fan, aren't you? Home and away, yeah. What's it been like in here then, enjoying the corporate? This is the best corporate club in the league. Well, that was convincing in the end. Uh, it seemed like a, a bit of a training ground run towards the end of that game. Such was the dominance that City had, some special goals. Great effort by Rodri, great effort by uh, Mares when he came as a substitute. Uh, just delicious goals. Gabriel Jesus could have had a hat-trick, had two, both quality goals. A really emphatic victory. City looked like they had the mojo back a little bit. Perhaps the thing that was missing at Newcastle. And now it goes into the Manchester derby. Of course, I will be out and about at the Etihad Stadium vlogging as ever. If you see me, come and say hello, get involved. Tell us what you think, both post and pre-match. And uh, thanks for watching the vlog. I really appreciate your support. See you again next time. A big thank you to the RRG Group for their sponsorship of the match day vlog throughout the season. So if you're looking for a new car or a used car and you want to deal with somebody you can trust, then I can certainly recommend the RRG Group. Thanks very much guys, thanks for your support.